counterintuitive and there's a whole series of these coming so keep your eyes fixed on this. But this year coming I'd like to take less responsibility. And the first of my less responsibility series is I'd really like to take less responsibility for other people's feeling and other people's thinking. Now that sounds possibly a little bit uncaring and unconcerned about other people but I really want to put it to you like this. If I am living in the feeling of my thinking, then I'm living in the feeling of my thinking. I'm not living in the feeling of my experience with you, but indeed the thinking that's been created in my mind by me of the experience with you. And so this is a really important distinction because it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you say, it's what I do with it that creates my experience of what we're doing. So let me give you an example. I play badminton. I love badminton. Oh, it's like my favorite thing ever. But I play badminton with this guy. And um, he's not a regular part of my club. I play against him in tournaments mostly. And um, he's a really good player and he plays with a really good mixed doubles partner. But I play with a really good mixed doubles partner too. And generally speaking, we win. And it's a hard fought battle without fail. And it's really exciting to beat these two because they are probably our top competition. But this guy, when he gets annoyed with me, he starts calling me names. And it's not uncommon for him to say, yeah, you bitch across the, the net or to fly me the bird. And the thing about it is that there was a time when my, my doubles partner said to me, geez, is this guy, it's like, he's, is he a little bit rude? <laughs> <laughs> which of course had me in hysterics because he's not a little bit rude, he's totally rude. But the other part of that is that he only ever does that when I've really got him on the run. And so his doing that is not just saying that I'm a bitch and flying me the bird, but what he's saying is that respect babe because you got me on the run. And he's just doing it in his own inimitable way. And so I'm quite comfortable with that. And in fact, when I get him to the point where he, it's like I'm, I'm driving him to that point till he's gonna call me a bitch or till he's gonna fly me the bird because I know that I've got him on the run in that moment. And so it becomes very light and it becomes quite joyful and it becomes quite fun when I, when I get him to the point where he's gonna call me a name. And so it's about my thinking, right? I could take serious offense and it's not okay to call people names on badminton court and blah, 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 blah. Or I can just have a lot of fun with it knowing that this is when he does it. And my thinking is what creates that feeling for me. So you ready resolution? Not so much responsibility for other people's feeling and thinking because I know it's their own thinking that creates the feeling and therefore their responsibility, not mine.